Good morning, and it is a lovely morning here, just outside Ballon the Slow, on the Hymeny Way. And just here beside me, it might not look like much except overgrown shrubs, but it's actually the old Grand Canal. You can kind of see the basin, and I've been walking alongside it for some time now, and will continue to do so for the next little while until I get closer to Ballon the Slow. Um, not a whole pot happening this morning, nice and early start. Thank you to Robert, who brought me back from Ockram to uh, almost Calmore, where I started this morning, where I finished last night. And I'm back on the way. Um, Robert picked me up this morning, and Paddy actually brought me back to Ockram last night, so I'm hoping to make it at least to Ockram today. It's a lot further than I expected. When the trail's not in a direct line, it can make it very, very difficult to... Um, to judge how long and how far things are away. That being said though, quite enjoying it. This is his part's particularly pretty. You can see I'm on an old dirt road. Um that's probably only ever seen tractors. I can't see too many others haven't been on it. Uh so yeah thank you to Paddy and Robert and to I had a great time in the pub last night. I was sitting chatting to a guy called Michael and oh he was so argumentative it was brilliant after about three minutes of of everything he had offended everybody in the pub and cleared the place and i just sat with him and said okay i'm not going to let him abuse me and he did he tried no actually he didn't just try he did he abused the hell out of me and i basically told him where to stick it and everyone kind of goes <gasps> it was quite funny but we ended up having a chat for about an hour or two and we left on the best of terms it was great fun actually he was just looking for someone to argue with him but uh yeah it was a good evening a good evening anyway good night's sleep had was in bed by probably half nine ten o'clock and um yeah good night's sleep woke up around seven this morning back on the trail at half nine and uh yeah happy out good day ahead good weather nice and reasonably warm and we'll just keep keep walking once again I am sweating it's a lovely warm day here you see the sun over my shoulder um, it's breaking down on me it's quite warm uh, over here we have this is the Grand Canal basin so it, it stretches the whole way in a straight line pretty much the whole way up and I'll be going alongside it for most of the the day today to be honest you can see this um, bank of trees this bit of forestry here well in the middle of that forestry and it's only about two or three hundred meters away from me is the river Suck and the river Suck separates Galway from Roscommon. I mentioned that yesterday. So effectively, I am 300 meters from Roscommon. <clears throat> but I, I keep talking about how I'm going to be walking around Roscommon. I don't actually enter County Roscommon for about three days. Um, it kind of feels like when I was back on the bike in Thailand and I was beside Myanmar. <clears throat> I was beside Myanmar for for days within a couple of kilometers of it all the time but never actually made it to the country so and um, this time I will make it to Roscommon it's about three maybe two days away by the time I get to Ballymo on the Galway Roscommon border much further north <coughs> and then as soon as I know that I'm out of Roscommon into Sligo back into Roscommon and finishing off in Leitrim it kind of feels like I'm almost finished but yet when you look at the map there's such a massive distance still to cover I can only imagine how tough Sullivan Bear and his followers had to be to just keep going all the time, uh, knowing that any reason to stop at all was probably meaning they were going to get killed. Um, and they didn't have the proper walking gear, they didn't have a warm bed, they didn't have food at night. <sighs> Massive respect. Ah, so a bit of a break, uh, about six and a half kilometers in. And uh, feet a little bit sore, but it's the first morning of the 19 now. It's the first morning that I've woken up that the feet were already sore um, and hadn't quite recovered from yesterday. And it's definitely because of the socks, because they haven't got any worse this morning. Um, they've just stayed that kind of dead pain and soreness the whole way through. Um, so I changed, I have four pairs of these thousand mile socks, but 
one pair were slightly thinner than the other three and I've been rotating through the other three for the first whatever two and a half weeks and now uh, I went for a fresh pair yesterday and uh, not a good idea so back with the thicker socks the nice big thick wool ones and the ankle support and uh, oh yeah feeling pretty good at the moment um, probably about 10k into Ockram left to do and some pretty big uh, pretty off off road sections to go so just keep going and uh, we'll get there sometime after lunch good bit after lunch but after lunch the amount of rubbish on the road and in the tree and in the fields around it is just dis disgusting to be honest but even more so is this just found this horse just tied to a tree randomly in the middle of nowhere now I know Ballon Slow is well known for horse fairs but this is a bit ridiculous poor thing anyone for a spot of golf it's uh I'm actually sitting on the on a bench here at Ballon Slow Golf Course Golf Club Golf Course um, just because the path literally goes up that road here and through that ditch and I saw a bench and I was like do you know what that bench looks rather nice I'm gonna sit down and have a little rest because this route's fantastic but there's a distinct lack of places to sit down like you could be walking for 10 or 15 kilometers without any natural place even a rock or anything just to sit down on to grab a bite or whatever uh, but I suppose that's not really what most long distance walkers want uh, whereas I'm not really most long distance walkers um, it's pretty quiet here today but then I suppose it is like lunchtime on a Wednesday it's not going to be the busiest couple of three and four balls out uh, mostly kind of the grey hair generations and that's fine too they have to have something to do as well but it's great to see people out and active uh, within spitting distance of Balance Slow still heading towards Ockham tonight and that's gonna keep me occupied for most of the daylight hours today I'm back within touching distance of Ockram again and the route takes you not the shortest route into town which is kind of becoming relatively common at this stage it actually takes you around the town and in from the other side primarily to show you through the venue of the Battle of Ockram. Now, to those who watch all the videos so far, or who have read up anything on a Sullivan Bear, you'll know he faced a battle at Ockram in the January 1603. But it was actually the Battle of Ockram that this battle refers to. It was actually 88 years later, in 1691, when the Williamites and the Jacobites met uh, outside, in the exact same venue, outside the town of Ockram, or the village of Ockram. 7,000 people perished that day, 88 years later. And it was basically the most decisive battle in, in that war between William of Orange and the, the, British, the British and Irish forces. I don't know too much about that. Uh, there's a bits and pieces um, around Ockram giving information and stuff, but I'm more interested in the smaller one, 88 years later, when O'Sullivan Bear met his nemesis in Ockham. After um, kilometres and kilometres of signposts about the Battle of Ockram, I finally found one about O'Sullivan Bear. So it's, it's very much the, the lesser of the two in terms of local interest. But in terms of what we're doing, this is the one that we wanted to see. So it tells us all about the story uh, from start to finish. But the important bit is it tells us a bit more about what exactly O'Sullivan Bear would have faced and there's a pretty good viewpoint here of the terrain so as you can see out across the valley it's just rolling small rolling hills for about a kilometer or two and on this point O'Sullivan Bear with the remaining forces of which was about 200 men faced about 2,000 English soldiers I think officially on the signage it says Activity resumed. Uh, there were two troops of English horse, five companies of English foot and a swarm of Queen's rabble, all in good spirits and anticipating victory. So the 200, the 200 men who started here and faced the 2,000 across the valley were not expected to win, having 
marched this far and I'm shattered. I can only imagine how bad they were. And having just crossed the Shannon 24 hours earlier, found themselves looking over at almost certain death. But the 200 men actually carried the day and attacked the English, beat them and progressed further past. A phenomenal victory by any standards. But considering the state that the Sullivan Bears men were in, I can only imagine how tough that battle was. You have to remember though that the that the uh, Sullivan Bears group would have been the best of the best. Some of the best soldiers in the country at the time. But to take on 2,000 men, 10 to 1 outnumbered, and emerge victorious. There's no real record of how many casualties were on the other side. But a Sullivan Bear and his men did keep continuing north. Almost back in Ockram. It's about a... Mm, five six minute walk that way but unfortunately the route map which is there has decided it's going to send me up the hill and around and over the top this is the time I hate the route anyway gotta be done it's like revenge of the killer sheep they've all been following me over the field I'm heading for this stile here trying to encircle me which is only slightly freaky here we go they're all coming in for an attack it's ever so slightly weird when I turn around <laughs> they start walking towards me <laughs> it's not freaky at all I promise poor things almost look a little bit disappointed anyway I gotta keep going up the hill. I'm going up the hill and then I realized my buddies are following me. They managed to find a way around. I was only joking earlier, but now it's kind of like they actually are following me. That's bizarre. Anyway, I don't think they've got the energy to go up the hill. No, they're still edging their way up. <laughs> it's quite funny really. Haven't reached more or less the top of the hill. It's probably the best view I'm going to have back of the valley. And it's just, well, it's breathtakingly beautiful. It's also kind of sad to think that thousands of people have lost their lives in my eye shot right now. Um, it's pretty humbling. Some during the time of a Sullivan Bear in 1603, but thousands and thousands and thousands, 7,000 at least in total in 1691.